First of all, I would like to thank the institute for choosing me for this award, which is specifically targeted teaching characteristics of a faculty member. I really value this uh, award uh, because I value teaching a lot and I consider this as a very noble profession. And uh, I think the institute has done a great job in uh, starting this award in our institute. So this encourages even young faculty members to, to take up teaching very seriously so our students can become better ambassadors of our, of our institute when they go out and are able to perform better because their understanding will improve. So thanks to the institute for choosing me for this award. When I graduated from here, I got excellent teachers who built up my foundation on basics of engineering and that helped me to uh, go in the outer world and, uh, and prove myself that I could do better and for that I am very very thankful. Actually I can recount an incident once I was in Mexico and I was entering United States because I, I was doing a job. So when I entered the border, so the border security man who has nothing to do with engineering, he asked me, uh, are you from India? I said yes. So are you a professor here? I said yes I am a professor. Then where are you from? I said northern part of India. And then he immediately said, are you from IIT Kanpur? And I was, I, I had no words. I just looked up in the sky and I just uh, wondered that this is the reputation that my institute carries. And uh, when I came here in IIT Kanpur, then this always strikes me that I should prepare my students so that they are recognized outside in, as, a, as quality students and uh, it's, it's very important on us to, to be able to give back whatever we learned from here. I mean IIT Kanpur is known for excellent teaching from the past and let us do our best to carry forward this, this reputation. The reason I went into academia and research is because I always love to teach students and I have this inner curiosity to be with kids and try to explain them some interesting phenomena in a, in a much simpler way. Even, even the stuff that I learn in uh, here or I teach un graduate and undergraduate students, I always keep thinking how can I explain it to my kids, how can I explain it to a layman. And uh, that drives me to, when you have that kind of thinking, I think the only profession you have is uh, research and uh, teaching. Okay, I, so as far as research is concerned, since my research is curiosity driven mostly, so, and that is uh, driven by question answer sessions when you ask students. So whenever a student comes to me to ask a research problem, I tell him not give the problem but I ask him what do you have in mind, what would you like to work on and even if it is not related to my research, I don't hesitate in pursuing it further. And the idea is basically to have fun because science is fun we used to learn in our and it is indeed fun. <laughs>